Buying a home can be super exciting. You want to find a place that has everything that you and your family want and need. Maybe it's a giant master closet or a nice farmhouse sink. But there's a few other things that I always like to make sure my clients are paying attention to when uh, we're looking at properties. So these are those items. First of all, I want to make sure that they take a look at the roof. Sometimes you can even see that a roof is old or it's going to need to be replaced soon just by looking at it. Otherwise, I always recommend my clients have a home inspector. He's going to get up there on the roof and really look at it. But a roof can be a big ticket item if you need to replace it. The other thing is an HVAC system. Uh, AC is really important in, in Austin. You know, it's, it's cold outside right now, but in the summers it gets pretty hot and you need an AC that works. And an AC is, is expensive to replace. So you wanna take a look and see how old that system is. It's actually pretty easy to do. Usually you can just find a, a label from the manufacturer on the, on the uh, compressor and it'll tell you a model number, a serial number. Usually you can just Google that serial number and it'll be a code for the month which it was uh, created. So that's really easy trick right there. Then the third thing I wanna look at is the foundation. The foundation's really the most important thing because if you have a foundation that's not performing as it was designed, it's gonna be the largest money pit for you. Not only are you gonna have to pay to have the foundation fixed, but you're gonna have to pay to have all of the other things that were messed up because of the poor foundation fix, like the, the drywall, the crown molding, everything else, your flooring. So that's something else I'm definitely gonna make sure we take a look at. I'm gonna look and see if there's exterior cracks along the foundation um, from the outside of the home and, and look at any cracks on the inside as well. If I see something that looks a little worrisome, that's definitely something you know we're gonna get a second opinion from the inspector on. So those are really my quick three tips for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you're looking for a realtor in the Austin area, my name's Erica Albert and I'd love to work with you. Thanks.